How's it going? I'm on gunfight snipers because my main class is still the long shot class and I'm not gonna give you long shot gameplay. That's just boring as hell. I mean, he's on PC. All right, so about four hours ago, they announced what they're gonna release for season four for Vanguard and Warzone. So Warzone is getting a new resurgence map, that Fortune's Keep thing, which has been rumored for a while. A lot of people are probably curious as to why I don't make Warzone videos, and that's because I just don't care for Warzone, and I'm not good at it. Like, there's no value in watching me play Warzone, I promise you. Getting some new POIs on Caldera, and reduced vegetation. I think that means, like, less trees, less grass. Maybe not less grass, I think that's, like, whatever. That could be sick. You're also getting the armored SUV, portable redeploy, ATM, a black market run, an EMP grenade, cash extraction. I don't know what any of that is. Especially the ATM, what could that possibly be? There's also new mode, golden plunder, titanium trails, endurance, and rebirth of the dead. Is that like infected on rebirth? That sounds kind of sick, I can't lie. Now that's like exclusive to Warzone. Vanguard, you're getting two new maps, USS Texas 1945 and Desolation. I might be speculating, but it says in season, that might be an arms race map. You're also getting a new mode, blueprint gun game. I don't know if I'm stupid, but I think there was already a mode like that, kind of. I might be mixing it up with like blueprint gunfight, but I swear that was like already a thing. In like the different games it's not an issue if it was but like I'm, I'm just saying i think it was an infinite warfare at least it was like called something else but i know that was the thing it was called like epic gun game right okay so that's all you get from multiplayer just one mode and two new maps for zombies so you, you finally get round based shino numa i really need to get into zombies dude i just haven't found my way to get into it yet i haven't really found a draw pot yet your ass Max. Well then. Where was he? Oh. So you guys you know Numa and that's for the most part it. Now, as a whole in both games, you get three new operators. So I'm concentrated. Oh. Easy. Carver Butcher, Callum Hendry, Ikena Delo. I don't know how else to pronounce that guy's name. You get three new bundles, of course, including one new skin, which is kind of just a rose skin, but like with like a purple thing, which I think looks cool. Okay, another one. Don't, don't. Oh my god, I lost my perfect streak. Come on. Oh shit. I don't care. You're also getting four new weapons. The Marco 5 looks like an SMG. The UGM 8 in season. The Push Dagger. Is that are those shattered are those shadow daggers or am i like crazy like from csgo you know and you're also getting the vargo s which i think has already been announced yeah it's looking uh, uh, i think we're getting something i mean the most interesting thing is do you guys remember the 2021 summer slash fall i don't know if it's fall or not i might be brain dead summer slash fall console fps hype era we're getting new stuff all the time for battlefield 2048 Halo Infinite, Call of Duty Vanguard. Everyone was shitting on Vanguard because I mean it was like a, it was a basic World War II game, barely even following World War II compared to insane Battlefield Modern. It's back into modern. Oh my god! And Halo's back. No way! It looks like Halo 3 now. Oh my god! And then somehow, out of all those three, Vanguard became the most supported game of them all. The most sturdy. What the fuck is wrong with these guys? Are they on a keyboard? No, I'm just horrible. I'm not even gonna bother staying at spawn anymore. I'm just gonna like sprint out. I'm gonna slide cancel into one of the entrances. Nope, not gonna catch me. What the- Man, out of those three, Bangar got the most support. It's still getting updated. Halo Infinite, I mean, I don't know what they were thinking when they structured the season so that they came out every, like, three months, but that's kind of- it's kind of atrocious. I think it's longer than three months, in fact. It was way longer. Bro, I can't. What the- Huge. Major. Holy shit, I'm clutching up like crazy right now. Out of all those three, ironically enough, the one that was the most hyped, the most likely to be crazy, the one everyone thought was gonna kill Call of Duty, did the worst. Cause it just launched horribly. Like I gave them the benefit of the doubt like during the beta. The beta was pretty bad, I can't deny it. It ran horribly on my Xbox, which was a Series X by the way. Apparently it was next gen.
I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. It ran pretty bad, a lot of glitches. It was just kind of a mess. But I, I gave it the benefit of the doubt, right? Maybe it was like an earlier build. Because usually, right, game companies, they have two separate builds that they're like, that they like roll out when it comes to these types of things. Like the Halo Infinite demo at E3, I think. It looked horrible because it used like a really old pre alpha build, like eight months before, like what they were developing. They'd like modify it that way instead of like modifying the main game so that it, it doesn't like break shit. How do you, f how the fuck do you hit that? We just lost. Oh, he might have enough motivation. Yeah, Battlefield 2042 was horrible. I don't think there's any jumping back from that. Maybe in like three years time. Like Cyberpunk has been getting kind of good reception nowadays. I don't even care about the main game anymore. I, th I just think the Cyberpunk animation thing looks really cool. I'm probably gonna watch that. Okay, we might actually bounce back. Reverse sweep. Hold up. Oh, this guy's carrying. It really looks like they're all like pulling their weight, but nah, this guy's like insane. Halo Infinite update cycle is pretty bad, but at least the core game is good, right? The mechanics are really fun. How the fuck do you hit that? How? I already completely forgot what I was trying to say. The point is that somehow Vanguard ended up, ended up being like, technically speaking, like playability wise, the most successful out of the like weird hype trio that existed. But yeah, season four, it looks okay, I guess. I don't know.